Hi, Jurassic Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw Piper Raquel, so let's get started. To draw this cute YouTuber, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle. And we're starting with her eyes because she has hair that kind of hits the sides of her face, which is a little bit easier to start with her eyes. So let's start with a circle, and I'm going to come right across, say about right here, and let's draw another circle. There. Now that I have my circles in, let's make them draw so cute eyes. So, two small circles inside for highlights. And a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. Okay, so now that we have our eyes in, let's come to the sides and we're just going to spruce them up with some lashes. So draw one right here and then another one. Nice and simple. Same thing over here. Curve and curve out. Thicken them up a little bit. And then from there, let's give her a sweet smile. So right in between, so say about right here. I'm going to go ahead and just draw a smile. Goes up a little bit and you can cap it off. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going to imagine an oval for her face. So, um, let's see here. I'm just going to come up nice and high. Her face bow, let's say, about right here. I'll just give myself a point right in the center. And then from there, I'm going to start and draw a curve. Comes down. And then it's going to come really close to her eye. And out. So same thing on this side, up, it's going to come right next to her eye, and out. <laughs> that looks so weird, right? <laughs> I promise it will all come together. So then from there, we're going to come to back to this point, and we're just going to draw a curve right in here. There. Okay, so it looks really weird because we haven't given her any brows. So let's come to uh, top right here, but in this area. And I'm just going to go ahead and just draw a soft curve and arc it down a little bit. And just come in here and thicken it up. And same thing over here. Curve slightly. And arc it in. There, so much better now, right? Then from there, I'm going to come about right here next to her eye again. And I'm just going to draw a curve that comes out for some more hair. And same thing right here. There, so we're starting to frame her face. So then about right here is where I'm going to start to draw her face. So imagine as if you were drawing the bottom of a U. If you usually start, it would be about right here. It comes down, so about right here is going to pop out. And same thing here, right? Just like if you're drawing bottom of a U. It would pop out about right there. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a curve. Comes down towards the center, about right here. And then back up. If you're using a pencil, cuties, definitely just go ahead and draw the bottom of a U first for her face. And then start to put her hair all around her. So that's much easier. And then you can just erase this part um, where the face would be. Okay, so then now that we have that, let's come back to the center. We're going to go up slightly, a curve. So this is where her hair parts. And about right there, we'll come down with a curve. And this side will go up. So this is where her hair is going to start. And then we're just going to bring this down. And about right here, I'll dip it in, come out. And same thing over here. Dip it in and out. Okay, so then now, uh, before we finish the rest of her face, let's draw her body. I mean, the rest of her hair. <laughs> let's draw her body. So right in the center, give her a little neck. 
right here and we're going to curve this out for her shoulders. It's the same thing here. Out, shoulders. Then um, let's find kind of where her armpit area would be. So let's say about right here and here. Give myself a point and from there I'm just going to go ahead and draw a soft angle line out. All right there. Then let's come back in here and I'm going to give her a neckline. So this outfit here is based on her merch that I uh, googled. So hopefully you love it. Now let's come in here, draw another curve for neckline, and then let's bring this down a little bit. So it's like a little short crop top. So say about right there, I'll stop. And I'll just wobble my way across to finish it off. Then from there, let's come in to give her a little waist in here. And then once again, I'm going to come right across. And so she's wearing a skirt. So I'm going to come right there and then I'm going to pop this part out and then come down. And I'll come back right here and add a band. There's some details. Come in here with uh, three buttons. And three. And then let's bring this down more. And about right there. Now we're about the same level. I'm going to come back right in this area to the side and I'm going to split this. So this is going to be where the skirt splits with the shorts underneath. So I'll bring this in and I'm going to curve lower towards the center and then right there I'm going to stop in whatever space right there and go back up. So it's as if we're creating a curve all the way across. Then inside right here just draw another curve for where her shorts would be inside that skirt. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and draw her legs. So nice and centered once again and straight. I'm going to come about right here and here. So imagine her hips and come down here and about here. So let's work on this side first. I'm just going to bring this down and angle it all the way to about there. And so we're just going to get thinner as we come down. That's the goal. And then from there, let's start her feet, her shoes. So I'm going to curve it out. And then we'll just go ahead and connect at the bottom. There. So same thing on this side. And bring this out and in. There. And then for some details, let's come back in this area. Uh, say about right here, we're going to cut it off for her shoe. And then right in this area, I'm just going to wobble across for her socks. And then at the bottom right here, add a curve for her sole. Come back up top of the shoe and then two curves right here. So same thing on the other side. There. Okay, so then now let's come back and draw her top. So I'll bring this up. Finish up her little top right here. And then let's draw her sleeve. So it's just short sleeves, comes out, bring it in. Same thing here, bring it out. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw her arms. So just imagine her arms coming through, about right here is going to pop out. And I'm just having them to her side just to simplify it. And I want her hands to end about right here. So let's bring this down. And I'm going to have her fingers come out and about right 
there, have a thumb, and just bring it in. There. And then from there, let's do the same thing on this side. So I think this side's a little bit lower. Okay, so then from there, once again, same thing. So the shoulders coming down. And once again, just bring this in. And about right there, I'm gonna come out with her fingers. And a thumb. And if you have a lot of space right here, you can just add a line right here for the rest of her hand. A little bit thinner, it's so delicate, right? <laughs> okay, so then now we can go ahead and finish her hair. So I'm just gonna wave it down. It's really long, so I'll just go ahead and just simplify it and wave it down. Add some strands right here and just tuck it in. So same thing here. There. Make sure I think I went down too low on this side. So here we go. Okay. Now I've made a mess. <laughs> okay, so then from there, you can add uh, some more details, some more strands of hair if you like. And now for some details on her top right here, I'm going to draw the three butterflies. So to make it simpler, I'm gonna to come to the center and draw the first one. And I'm just totally simplifying it. So I'm just gonna draw this black little line right here. And we're gonna draw the first butterfly. So just two wings on each side, going that way. And then one's going this way, so I'll fit it in right here. And one more that's going this way. There. And then it looks like it's dripping, kind of like ink, right? So <laughs> I know it's so small, but hopefully you get the idea. And at the bottom right here, it says B. Hopefully I can fit this in, BBY for baby. There. Make this one a little bit bigger to fit in this space. Okay, and that is pretty much it. And I'll come in here really quickly with my whiteout pen here and fix this big boo-boo. And here as well. And that is pretty much it for my version here of Piper Raquel. And I really hope I've inspired you to draw her fun and easy. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw Secure videos. See you later.